Good morning, everyone. We have summit this year as more than 69,000 people all over the world. It's an amazing event. Today, I have different plans from yesterday. Yesterday, I interviewed Garrett McNamara. Uh, it was really interesting. It was awesome. I also met David Meltzer, really uh, exciting person who uh, reached me on social media as well, and I got in contact with him. Today, there will be a speech from Sophia, the first robot in the world that has a citizenship. I will go to Central Stage or, and try to go for the conference, the press conference from her to try to see what's the AI role in the future and what is her opinion as a robot for humanity. I'll also try to get in contact with those who reached me on, this, on the Web Summit app and try to see the startups. So let's take a look around. Guys, I was just having a conversation with Fabio from Aubay. He's a happiness manager, and I just did a podcast for about it. What is exactly a happiness manager? The podcast is in Portuguese, but uh, there will be some clips. Uh, if you're Portuguese, go take a look at my podcast. If not, I'll put here some clips and I'll try to explain to you what is exactly a happiness manager. It was real interesting and who knows, I might be able to, to get in contact with him again. Now I'm going to eat and then I'll show you more about the Web Summit. Let's go. Also cool, so we're, we're working with the AI task force of the Malta government to define exactly what does it mean for a robot like these or an AI without a body to be a citizen. What would be a test you could give an AI to see if it understood the laws of a country and its application in, in practical situations? I mean, what, what, do you, what do you think, Sophia? Do you want to be a citizen? What do you think about robot citizenship? Yes, our friends in Malta seem very keen on this. Do you want to become a citizen, Hans? Well, that's about time. Humans are certainly making a mess of their world fast enough. Probably the only hope for this planet is a lot of highly intelligent and rational robot citizens. Really soon. And this time I'm not joking. <laughs> Actually, he isn't. There you. It is costly. Then the machinery of justice has been built. A weird okay. time in which you're alive. <laughs> I have no idea, I have no idea what you're talking about, but, so, these are some of the upgrades and experiments we've been doing with the 
these heads and robots. Welcome everyone. Wow, this is this is an immense crowd of people. I guess uh, my my robot girlfriend here gets more and more popular uh, every, every 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 time. She can recognize some emotion in your face or your voice, and she can recognize sort of the emotional balance of some words also. I mean, not not as sensitively as most humans can. Can you imagine that, I don't know, Sophia one day, Sophia like robot will be in every house? Because I'm sure it will be. Friend yeah. the friend of the family. <laughs> sure. Yeah. That, that seems yeah. very clear. I mean, just like now everyone has a phone and a car and a house. I mean, Everybody's going to have every, There will be multiple, well, it won't be named Sophia, but there will be multiple service robots yeah. doing many different things in homes and offices and so forth. Almost finishing the second day, 12 Summit. I'm not sure if I will be able to, do, to drive the BMW i8 tomorrow. I tried today, but it was already closed, so let's try and drive the BMW i8 tomorrow. Now let's take a look at the Web Summit. No, at the Sunset Summit. Let's go.